Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host, your boy, VX Kingpin XV, and I got an exciting one for you guys today. Today's going to be a Naruto episode 321, and must I say, I'm happy to be a Naruto fan yet again. Um, wow, just absolutely amazing. A lot of great things have happened, and we're excited. Yes, I, we are definitely, definitely, definitely excited, and we're here to discuss that. Um, at this point in time, Naruto is back on the scene. He is um, going to every battlefront. Uh, the problem that they're having is kind of where, exactly where they left off, where the white Zetsus are becoming a real freaking problem. People are killing each other. They don't know who they're attacking. People can't help their friends because they don't know if that's their friends. So it's causing a lot of great confusion. Uh, a couple of things that we have seen, we've seen a lot of the old characters, Kim, Kimimaru, uh, Granny Chio, even though on one of the episodes she got defeated by Conqueror, that didn't make any sense. Uh, we're seeing Kakashi, Mike Guy, Rock Lee, Neji, Hinata, uh, Shino. I mean, we're seeing every fucking body. Uh, Shikamaru, Chozy, you know, um, just everybody, everybody, everybody's, everybody's out there uh, trying to to do all they can do to stop these wet uh, Zetsus. Shikamaru's plan is everybody stay still, nobody approach each other. If you do, kill each other. Um, and that has been the thought until Naruto shows up. So Naruto finally shows up. Of course, he makes an entrance uh, right before somebody's about to get struck or end up about to get hurt. He comes in, smashes down the white Zetsus, lays down the hammer, and, um, you know, turns those little guys in the trees or whatever. Then he, you know, gets a lot of gratitude and thanks, and everybody's all excited. And then we see the second Hokage, uh, no, not second, the, uh, the second Tushikage. You know, he's done. He's just done a reanimation jutsu, obviously by the will of your boy Kabuto. And he brings back a special character. But we don't get to see him right away. It kind of transitions back over to what's going on on the battlefront. What needs to be done. Um, the tides are turning. Uh, it's becoming, you know, more evident that they're doing better in the, on the battlefield. We also get to see some very nice things come up. We also see... Uh, Toby, at this point in time, um, you know, he's he's on the battlefield, and he's got, yes, yes, the Dream Team Junjurikis. Yes, he got the Dream Team Junjurikis, and they're all with him, and they are heading to cause chaos. So you know it's about to go down, you know it's about to ensue, and it's going to be crazy. Uh, they got a lot of powerful episodes coming up, a lot of powerful things going to be happening. Uh, we're going to see Naruto have to step up. To the plate, step up his game, and let's see what kind of shinobi he really is. I mean, it's been so long since they've stopped these fillers. It's, it's, I, I was forgetting a lot of things, uh, but a lot of things have started to come back. Um, and when they're, you know, Naruto's just kind of cleaning up the mess. You know, her lady, who's uh, Lady Sonata, kind of gives a little hmm to uh, your boy Rage Kage uh, to let him know, like, yeah, you thought Naruto wasn't going to handle things. But, yeah, he's holding shit down. We even have a little sentimental uh, moment with Lady Nkata, Lady uh, Tsunade's old boyfriend, when he thought the little kid, or Naruto was Nako, was it Nawaki? Nawa, Nawaki? Uh, obviously, <laughs> it wasn't him because he's dead. So, you know, and he was like, I'm glad we still have heroes who still fight the good fight. That kind of bullshit. You know, I just made that up. Anyways, um... So, right, right when, you know, everything's calming down, the, the tide's about to turn, everybody's starting to say, okay, maybe we can handle, uh, you know, your boy Madeira and he's Jinjuriki, because that's what they thought it was, keeping that in mind. So, they thought they'd be able to handle uh, Madeira and these Jinjurikis about to approach. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, you see the Tushikage and like, oh, shit, why is he here? What is going on here? Um... And, it's, and then uh, the Tushikage, the current Tushikage concert says, you know, it's, it's kind of like a clone jutsu, but 
it's different. It's actually he can separate himself, make two of himself. And it's uh I forgot the name of the jutsu he called it, but um when he separates himself, he actually it's an actual another part of himself. It's beyond a clone. So one part of him did get sealed, so now he has half his abilities left. And then you see Right behind them, your boy Madeira stepping out of the shadows. We're going to get to see some live action Madeira fight scenes coming down to your boys. So we get to see Madeira do some crazy shit, some crazy jutsus. Um, he thought he was going to be brought back to life. Uh, he didn't know it was just going to be the Ido Tensei. And I think that's when the Confucius starts to set it in his mind. But obviously with his abilities and his understandings of the Ido Tensei, you already know what he's going to do. But he thought he was going to be come back. With, I think they call the Renjun or something, whatever. Where I felt, I think, whatever whatever jutsu he said, whatever jutsu he said, I think that was supposed to be the jutsu that was supposed to give him real life. Um, and to be honest with you, he's more valuable as an Edo Tensei right now. Anybody can be just stabbed or killed or, you know, you know, it's physically, you know, weaker as a human being. So the Edo Tensei would definitely work in his favor. And um, we're going to see how this shit goes down. Because I'm excited. Because you're excited. Because we're all excited. No more fillers. Fillers are over with. Let's do it. Let's get down now to break down. For your boy, VX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great one. Do your thing below, rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Peace.